this is i don't it's like in between a life hack and a craft life craft <laughs> like a life raft that would be a life craft i guess because it's like a craft on okay I'm, i'll be done but you know just like something i figured out a little while ago that i don't know i wanted i didn't have any other ideas so that's what i'm gonna do this week um is this really and i know this sounds like super tacky and kind of like i'm making fun of it but actually i thought it was kind of genius it's a way to do like i mean you see the title so you know because i have attachment issues and i'm like i want this i want it to stay like big baggy sweater still but i also want like the cute crop sweater thing and so like the the genius i am i just was like i'm well to both like this morning when i couldn't decide if i wanted um braids or like half up half down so i did both which may or may not be a good compromise I will, i'll let you be the judge of that so i'm gonna stop talking and just show you how to do this so um super simple all you need is a shoelace or any kind of string i just like shoelaces because they're already a length that because shoelaces are like way longer than you think they're gonna be um so it's the right length that will wrap around like most people's midsection and you'll be able to tie it comfortably and the sweater that you want to yeah my emo sweater one of several as you can see but the thing is it needs to have this like waistband at the bottom and you can kind of tell if you go like like it has to be the kind of thing where it's two layers and where it's like a tube um that's been sewn shut so you can tell like this one has it there's space in there um because that's the only because the way that this technique works it needs that so all you have to do is you can i didn't film this because i'm a dummy is you just cut two holes in the front of the sweater inside of the waistband like you can see this is inside out and it's two holes just through the front layer of this like tube and then this very easy two-step process i took just because i have this one straw that i keep for craft purposes you know because plastic straws are kind of evil and so i just took the aglet which is the end of the shoelace for those of you who didn't know that's the word um and i'm gonna attempt to get it through here um but if you've ever tried to put the string back in a hoodie which is essentially what i'm going to be doing then you'll know that it's difficult and time consuming and the straw is something i read on pinterest several years ago before like plastic straws were illegal <laughs> a g l e t ugly don't forget it i'm gonna tie the world together so you just you thread the the thing through the straw first because then what you can do is you can just like sew it into so you cut into this hole and this whole like space in here is blank so all that you do is like thread the shoelace into the inside like pocket that's already in the sweater so i'll just be here doing this <laughs> so then you get the straw and you just thread it through the other hole and you can pull the straw off and you can see you can just pull this all the way through quite a bit like a hoodie and then okay here's the the get rid of the straw um keep it for further craft purposes don't throw it away i'm gonna put on my demonstration shirt <laughs> demonstration shirt accomplished okay so you just for the shorter version and this kind of works better on a bigger sweater you just put it on but what the genius part of well in my opinion i thought this was pretty smart is then you take the strings that are at the front on the inside 
and then you could i i personally tie it like up here and you can see there's like a lot of extra room because it's a shoelace and shoelaces are really long so you just tie it and so that part of it stays tight and the rest of the shirt kind of like i'll stand up a little bit so then it like looks cropped and you can't see the strings or anything and i i've worn something like this like i did the other one it's wearable all day it's not uncomfortable at all it's like a little bit shelfy because it's folded but then if you fold and then all you have to do to still wear it like full length is untie it and like flip the strings under and like no one would ever know that you ever put a shoelace in it and there you go subscribe to my channel but i probably won't do more convertible crop sweaters i don't know a tutorial on how to do this please like my video uh leave me a comment if you think this i'm just gonna I'm gonna sit quietly Yeah. Don't be in the video, you could be okay. Alright. I don't know if you can see him, but he's here. He also wants you to to like and subscribe and all that jazz. So do it for him so he's happy. Cause don't you wanna make that little face happy? Chester, look at the camera. Chester? Chester. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you guys next week. Uh, till then, hope you have a nice day. Turns into a nice week. And then, you know, nice life.